In 1980, in a hotel bar in the smallest town in Wales, two men were fiercely arguing over one of life's most important questions. Whether a man could beat a horse in a marathon over the mountainous Welsh terrain. The landlord of the pub overheard the conversation and decided to organise a race to see who truly is the fastest. Now every year people, and people riding horses, gather to do battle. Only two men have ever succeeded, the first receiving a jackpot of £25,000. You have to be super fit to even think of attempting this absurd race. Super fit or super stupid. I'm about to drive from England to Wales to race against horses in a field in the middle of nowhere. Let's go. So, Mum and I got in the car and set sail from my hometown of Bedford to the small town of Langebe... Langebe... to Wales. After a long drive, we finally arrived at the hotel we would be staying at, which was actually in another little town near the race, called Lindru... Landry... Seriously, how do you pronounce these place names? Okay, we've just arrived at the hotel. This is our room. Take two. Two nice beds, so can't, can't moan about that. And the French open on the television. Yeah. I'm glad we came all this way to Wales just so you could watch tennis. Yeah. Just arrived for registration. You can see how hilly the course is probably going to be tomorrow. There he is. Thank you, thank you. The only time I'll <laughs> ever be up there. That wasn't the spirit. It's not the only time I'm going to be up there. That is where I'm going to be tomorrow. If you're a horse in Wales, yeah, you better watch out because James Brett was in town. All registered, ready to rock. Should we get to the pasta party? Let's get to the pasta party. Got my ticket for the pasta party there. Pasta party! Woo! Included in each race entry was a ticket for a free pasta meal at the Arms Hotel at the centre of town. Because the portions were quite small and I am a huge fatso, I gave them five pounds extra and ordered two portions. Just had dinner. And it was really good quality actually, I was... And good atmosphere as well. But yeah, portion's a bit small for trail runners, you reckon? For people well, who have I don't to... Know. You're a big eater. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see anyone else having to... Going up for seconds. Yeah, it's just another way of saying I'm fat, isn't it? First impressions of Wales. Well, it's not first impressions because I've been to Cardiff. <laughs> First impression of the Welsh but this countryside. Part of the world is very, very pretty. Simpler. Yeah. Quieter, more relaxed way of life. Yeah. And Welsh everywhere as well. Yeah. That's kind of interesting. So the UK isn't just a monolingual society. There is also Welsh on our passports as well, I think, as well, isn't yeah. it? There's Welsh here. Yeah. Okay, so back at the hotel, all washed and ready for the sleep of champions before the run of champions tomorrow. <laughs> Mum thinks I'm crazy. I think I'm gonna do pretty well. How, how well did you say that you thought I was gonna do? Um, oh, we're, 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 we're wearing the same dressing gowns as God. <laughs> <laughs> Hotel dressing gowns. <laughs> we didn't coordinate, we didn't plan this. I reckon that James will come in, won't come in the top half of men. Thanks. And James being full of himself reckons he'll come in the top 20%, the top one-fifth. Yeah, I think so, I'm pretty good. So we'll see. Yep. Well if you're viewing this recording, I have come in the top fifth because I wouldn't include this <laughs> in the video if I hadn't come in the top fifth. Well. 
Good night. No, I'm no. ready for tomorrow. Waiting! <laughs> yeah! Cool. We're back. Good morning. Yep. It's about half past ten. Just parks. I'm ready to collect my prize money. I'm excited. But uh, yeah, they do look like there are some serious people out today. Any final words of wisdom? Any final words of wisdom? Um, yeah, keep keep clear of the horse's back legs. That's my why. That's my top tip. Why? Because they kick hard. Oh. I'm not a big fan of horses. I don't want to do it. <laughs> All right. Time to win. <laughs> All right, ditch mum. <laughs> Walking up to the start line now, switched over to my fancy new Picasso GoPro type thingy. Um, yeah, I'm a little more nervous now. I was watching videos of the event last night. I don't fancy running around. Muddy's fine, but wet. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I've signed up for the wrong race. It's mad, this is where we were yesterday. Having the pasta almost completely deserted. Wow. Today, man, woman, or horse, it's going to be a horse today. The conditions favour the uh, favour the horses for firm ground, and so um, it's going to be pretty warm out there, which might go in the, in the, the runner's favour. But uh, for me today, it's the, the horse is going to win. Would you say this is the kind of race that anything could happen? Absolutely. Last year it was we were all drenched, and uh, this year the sun's shining. But there are horses that sometimes are favourites and can't get through the vet stage. But um, now, today, I think, you know, the horse will be. Brilliant, thank you very much. Oh my God, first big hill, I think. Just not sure. has been going for minutes. Five minutes in. It's getting better than I thought actually. I'm okay with these bits of running bits, but anything that involves mud or climbing, I'm definitely underprepared. Apparently, there's a horse coming through. <laughs> 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh damn it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. So that's the winning horse at the moment. That overtook me in about 46 minutes. How anyone ever wins this, I've no idea. Oh my god. <laughs> So they're all coming through now. Oh my god. I wonder if I'll eat any of them. Thank you. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's about one hour, 20 minutes in, and I'm walking. This is really difficult. The hill bits. It's halfway there apparently. One hour forty. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Let's hope this bit is downhill. <laughs> Sorry, I've got my on. Do you have men's cap on? <laughs> I'm paranoid about this. I'm, right, thank you. Two hours in. Yeah, two hours in. We gotta do that. Oh, I've been running with him. I think he's off on his own. He's running up like that. Oh, good effort. I'm still trying to keep running. At this point, I'm going super slow and getting overtaken by everybody, though. Like, oh, more than being tired, it's the uh, it's the ground, it's the surface really twist your ankles, I don't know how everyone else is doing it. But, yeah, lots of respect, this is really tough. Okay, I think it's about a third to go now, and we're on road, so I think I should be okay. Okay, I spoke too soon, that was just around the corner. been low so I've not been filming much basically for the last third of this race I've been running like an old man my legs are absolutely gone but apparently less than a mile now oh, I've enjoyed this in a weird way <laughs> but uh, yeah it'll be, it'll be nice to cross that finish line it's been four hours five minutes I've been out here running in fields. Maybe yeah, there. James, my son, he looks as if he's delirious in the orange. <laughs> in orange? In orange. He, oh, is he? Come on, James! Come on! Come on, James, nearly there! Nearly there! 
Why you Mini spread? bear! Oh, oh my god! Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah, time, right? Oh, what do you want? Die out. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. That's tough. Well, that race nearly destroyed me. It broke me physically and almost mentally. But despite the mud in the hills, I got there in the end. And you can bet I'll be back someday. And when I'm back, I'm not just gonna beat the men. Oh no, I'm coming for you too, horsies. Yes, that's right. I will become the third man versus horse champion. Maybe. Back in the car. Going back to the hotel, had a cheeseburger, I feel awful. <laughs> How far behind did you say the um, the winning man was behind the horse? Oh, 25 seconds, yeah. So he actually came in before the horse, but then of course the horse started a quarter of an hour before, uh, and they knew it was close. Yeah. So. The crowd oh, no. were advised, I think about half an hour before the end, that, you know, maybe yeah. this was going to be the year. So he met, missed out on 10 grand by 25 seconds. Yes. Does he get a consolation prize? No. <laughs> How far away was I behind the winning horse? Oh, not far. Just yeah. a couple of seconds. <laughs> it was pretty close, wasn't it? It, it, it was close, yeah. The, that horse was damn lucky. If things went slightly differently I think I would have won that well I take issue with the word slightly but well done anyway. <laughs> if I had rocket powered <laughs> trainers <laughs> if I only had to do half the course yep okay cool well done it was an experience it was yeah <laughs> do you want to do it? <laughs> never Oh, goodness me. Okay, all showered, ready to go for dinner. Oh, going for some traditional Welsh Chinese food buffet, because I'm absolutely starving and that sounds fantastic. Results aren't up yet, we don't think, so we'll get you updated on that later. Okay, back at the hotel. Some after having sampled the local Chinese cuisine, the results are up. So what were the what were the predictions again? You said something like you reckon I'd come in the top ten, <laughs> and I, I reckon that was you. you know, I think that was you. I said well probably, you know, bottom fifty percent, but I couldn't really predict much further than that. Uh... Oh, here we are. Right, I've got you. What do you want to know? know what place was I? 366. How many participants were there overall? Overall, well, you're on page eight. <laughs> this is, now we're up to page 15. What did I say? You were 366? Yeah. Oh, oh and there's a load that didn't finish. Right, oh. so there are over seven, 726. Oh. And then we've got a whole load that didn't finish. So that means I was in the top 50%. Wow. So basically we can conclude from this is that I am a champion. <laughs> wow. Seriously though guys, that race nearly killed me. <laughs> that was definitely the hardest race I've ever done. But it was good fun and I'd like to do something like that again in the future. But if I do do something like that again in the future, something trail running based, I will definitely be doing some uh, preparation for it. <laughs> it is not the same as running 
on the road. That's all. And I discovered that the hard way. Lots of respect to all the people that um, well, completed the race today. Well done, you guys. So, yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe, like it, blah, 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 blah. See ya!